Hi, I'm Danny Hester, bodybuilder, pro fitness trainer, and inventor of exercise equipment. Today we're going to talk about external rotator cuff for the shoulders exercises. And you want to remember that it's very important to do both external and internal rotator cuff exercises, but today we're going to talk about external, which means everything away from the body. So the resistance is going to be coming away from the body, and internal is going to be pulling into the body. So today we're going to be talking about all the exercises that benefit the shoulder rotator cuff, and your resistance, resistance is going to come from away from the body. So also another point is to make sure that you have a 90 degree angle on most of the stuff you do. So external, which is away from the body resistance, whether it's a band or you're using gravity laying down and you're doing some of the movements. Uh, you can use uh, dumbbells. Uh, if you're at the house, you can use cans, anything in it, but it doesn't need to be a heavy weight because remember, it's more of a rehab uh, exercise. It's not a, so much a strength training exercise. It's to warm up the shoulders. A lot of times before you do uh, a different exercise that you, you requires heavier weight. So this is going to be preventive exercises and it's also going to be strengthening a lot of the areas that are injured um, when you're doing heavier exercises. But 90 degree angle is very important whether you're doing it uh, up along your shoulders as far as coming from the ground up and make sure you have that 90 degree angle or if you're doing it keeping the elbow close to the body and the wrist and the hands are going to be at the body and you're going to be pulling outwards so once again make sure that you keep your arms at a 90 degree angle whether it's aligned with your shoulders or in close to the body doing the external rotor rotator cuff exercises. I'm Danny Hester. You can find me at www.gflex.tv.